I am Batman. I mean, Average Sniper. What's up everybody? Average Sniper here. Welcome to another PUBG video. Today we're talking about update 5.1. Let's get right into it. We have a new Gold Morado. Only one of them spawns on the map and it spawns on Miramar in the garage at Hacienda del Patron. This is the only one you can get. And if you have a skin configured for your Morado, it will take over the gold color. We learned that the hard way the first time we got it. We got into it and the gold color changed immediately. So if you want the sweet gold Morado, make sure you unequip that skin from your Morado under the customized settings options. Uh, the second most exciting thing is that a win the Winchester now has a scope on it. It's something that probably should have been done the first day the Winchester ever came out because who honestly uses that weapon seriously? So I picked the Winchester up and I was like, wait a minute, look at this. It's got a scope on it. I can't believe it. So it's a 2.7 time scope. You cannot take it off. Uh, you don't have to find it anywhere on the map. It's just exclusive to the Winchester. So now the Winchester is actually the only sniper rifle in the game that has a scope built onto it. That is awesome, and I love the scope. You know, this is perfect for those medium range battles. You're gonna see a lot more people using the Winchester the way it should be used in PUBG. I mean, when was the last time you got killed with a Winchester unless it was a guy that got a lucky shot on you when you first landed? Here's a shot of my friend Seth Mabois getting a headshot on this guy. Special thanks to Seth Mabois for helping me get all this footage. He was very helpful today, and I wouldn't have been able to do it without him. So thank you very much, Seth Mabois. Appreciate that, bro. All right, so the next most exciting thing is the ability to throw melee weapons. You can now throw melee weapons at the at players it does about the same amount of damage it would if you actually hit them with it but if you hit the player in the head and they're not wearing a helmet it's going to be a one-shot kill just as if you were to hit them in the head with any other melee weapon and they weren't wearing a helmet so now if you land and don't find a gun you can chuck a melee weapon right at the enemy's junk and then run away hoping that he won't chase you Another cool feature is that you can share ammo with teammates now. Ammo and health. Uh, you can, your teammate can request it, and it will give you the option to throw it to them. You can throw it up to 15 meters. So we tested it close. We tested it on the roof here. And uh, if there's any obstacles in the way, sometimes the ammo might fall on the ground. But we didn't have any problem with that until he ran out of space in his backpack. Here is me requesting some ammo from him. You just pull it up on your uh, ping screen here. And you can get all the ammo you need as long as your friend decides to throw it to you. So that helps out a lot uh, when you're playing with randoms, people that don't have mics, or just in general, if your teammate doesn't want to sit there and sort out ammo for you on the ground. The next coolest thing is the vending machines, guys. There, there are vending machines now that can dump out energy drinks and painkillers. Very cool. Now, one of the things to know about these is they can be kind of noisy, like right here. Uh, and that actually, it only looks like one energy drink, but it's actually eight. So if you get lucky, you will get a ton of boosts. These things show up around gas stations, arenas, and casinos. And if you're taking cover on one and it gets shot, an alarm is going to go off, which will alert enemies in your area, you know, that you are nearby. So we tried to turn the alarm off by shooting it more. So that's pretty cool that you now have vending machines that spawn randomly uh, where you can get medical supplies from. We also have a new season pass. I'm going to scroll through it really quickly so that you can see all the items. Feel free to pause the video on anything that you think looks interesting. And then we have, there's a complete race course that goes all around Miramar. It's so awesome. Uh, if you guys keep watching, you'll be able to hear the new PUBG menu music while me and Seth go in double speed around this entire course that took us almost 13 and a half minutes to complete. We were going kind of slow. We're just trying to figure out where it was, but it was a pretty fun experience. So if you want to see that, stay tuned. And if you want to see more patch notes, just check the uh, video description for the latest patch notes. And there's a ton of other cool stuff to check out too, guys. Can't wait for season five. Leave your comments in the comment area and press the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed and press the join button if you'd like to support. Thanks everyone. I'll see you on the next video.
Enjoy the new racetrack. Later.